What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the eighth placed video in my end of year giveaway slash competition for World of Tanks console. And in this video, you are going to see one hell of a performance in the AT2, the British Tier 5 tank destroyer and one of the most heavily armored tanks down at tier 5. Now Union Jack is in a top tier matchup here on Ghost Town so he is in his own tier and he's only got a face off against tier 5s, tier 4s and tier 3s. So top tier matchmaking is exactly what you want in the AT2 because tier 6s and tier 7s can tear this tank apart but even so frontally it has one of the best armor profiles down at tier 5 aside from the OI Experimental, but the trade-off of that is that it's not that fast. As you can see, it only has a top speed of 20 kilometers an hour, and he's only just barely making it to that on flat ground here on Ghost Town. So not a speedy machine whatsoever, but this tank doesn't need speed. It just needs to point its front at the enemy and destroy them. Now, he's got some shots at the M7, missed his first auto shot, Second one goes in, third one goes in, and the fourth should finish him off. Four shots of damage already, and one enemy tank destroyed. Aiming for the M5A1 Stuart now. Tracks him on the hill, but for some reason he decides not to shoot at him even more. Despite the six pounder on the AT2, or is it a two pounder, one or the other. It has an absolutely ridiculous rate of fire. This thing fires like every two and a half seconds, and I'm not sure what equipment that Union Jack is using on his AT2, but you can bring that down even more so with a gun rammer and vents and tea and pudding. It is monstrously fast. Now he's unable to secure the kill on the Stuart, but he's going to focus his attention to the KV-1S and his team isn't doing so good right now. It is 8-4 to the enemies. 8-4, a very perilous position for him to be in but in true 82 fashion not caring whatsoever pushes around the corner and gets a nice shot into the side of the kv5 should be able to get a few more here and look at the reload speed even though he's missing a few of these shots it doesn't matter because you can reload so fast that it really doesn't matter you have so many rounds of ammunition as well that one bounced that one tracked him now he's aiming for the lower glacis but you have so much ammunition uh, it doesn't really matter if you miss a shot because you got so much and your reload is so good that you can just chip away the KV-1S just like that. Now the M5 is producing himself and he gets taken out. And Union Jack is now up to 12 hits of damage, 3 kills with 6 critical hits. Now this could have been a turning point if the Stug pushed him while he was tracked. But because of the quick rate of fire on the AT2's gun, Union Jack smartly tracks the Stug in place and then just fires so many shots through his lower glacis, through his inner drive wheel, and finishes him off. Taking him up to his fourth kill of the game and his 16th hit of damage. Now he's got some enemies behind him. And he's going to turn around and start making his way over to them. He can hit the Largo in the distance. I think that's how you properly pronounce that tank. I may be wrong though, so do excuse me if I am. Now the gun traverse is not that good, but he should be able to shoot through the wall. And uh, that guy's raging in the chat for some reason. <laughs> I did not realize that that was in this video, man, but that was funnier than I thought it would be. But he finishes off the tier three, taking him up to one kill shy of a top gun. Now he's auto-aiming the Largo. Gonna take the time to aim here. Unfortunately bounces. But he's just he's not gonna take any damage from the tanks that are shooting at him. He is just bouncing shell after shell after shell. Even from behind. Because he's angling his tank a certain way, the Panzer S35 can't go through, the Largo can't go through, and the AMX-40 finally gets one into him. Now he's secured his top gun and he secured his seventh kill. And the Grant is pushing him, but he finishes the Grant off. Should be able to track the AMX-40 in place. 
It's going to go straight through the AMX-40's weak point on the turret. So he obviously knows where to aim because the AMX-40 is a very tough tank at tier 4. Very, It has a very well-sloped armor profile. So even though the thickness may not be that much, it is a very, very good armor profile. Union Jack's up to his ninth kill of damage now. So he has secured the Radley Walters medal and 29 hits of damage as well as 14 critical hits. Now, if the enemy are smart, there's two of them left and they will take on Union Jack together and finish him off. But he only knows where the AMX-40 is, more commonly referred to as the duck tank because it does look like a duck. It does indeed look like a duck, but he's going to distance himself from the AMX-40. He should be able to track him here. He damages the tracks, doesn't go through on the next shot, and he's choosing to push the AMX-40. The good thing about the AT-2 is, even though the gun is very small, it does actually have pretty decent penetration for its tier, because it's a British gun. And British guns generally have good reloads, good penetration, and good accuracy. And when you combine that with the armor profile of an AT-2, this really is one of the most effective seal clubbers down at tier 5, as we are seeing in this game. Now, the AMX-40 should be able to outrun him all day, because, like I said, the AT-2 is a very slow machine, but the AMX-40 chooses not to. He's going to push him, and he could have lost himself the game here, but he just manages to traverse in time. The AMX-40 is very slow at traversing as well, and he finishes him off, securing the 10th kill of the game and his pools medal. Now he has to go searching for the last enemy tank remaining. And if you noticed, ladies and gentlemen, if you were watching carefully, you would have seen that Union Jack has qualified for a Kolobanov's medal as well. If he secures the win this game, he is going to secure the Kolobanov's medal, which is for facing off against five or more enemy tanks on your own and securing the win. Now I would imagine that the last enemy tank remaining is AFK. Union Jack restores his commander so that he knows if he has been spotted in advance but I would imagine that the last enemy tank is AFK. I don't think we've seen him for the entire game and Union Jack's got more than enough ammunition to deal with this last enemy tank. He still has over 20 shells remaining that are armor piercing rounds so you know he's got more than enough shells to do the job here now high explosive rounds on this small caliber gun are kind of useless even if you come across lightly armored tanks down at this tier because the caliber of the gun is so small the effectiveness of the high explosive rounds is going to be reduced and as we suspected the last enemy tank remaining is an AFK Matilda, still sat in the cap circle. And the Matilda's a tough tank, ladies and gentlemen, but look how the AP rounds cut straight through it from the AT-2. No problem whatsoever. And he's going to secure his 11th kill and the Kolobanov's medal, as well as a Devastator medal. But ladies and gentlemen... Let's take a look at the post-game stats to see how he did. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so taking a look at the post-game stats, we can see that Union Jack had an absolutely ridiculous game in the AT2 there on Ghost Town. He secured the High Caliber Medal, the Pools Medal, a Cool Headed Medal, Devastator Medal, Kolobanov's Medal, Steel Wall Medal, Top Gun medal and a Mastery Badge Ace Tanker for his efforts. So an absolutely ridiculous haul of medals. And he secured 48,925 silver alongside 6,118 experience. Destroying 11 enemy tanks that game and dealing 2,584 damage from 39 penetrations. He only detected one enemy tank. He didn't pick up any assisted damage that game, but he managed to block 2,233 damage in that entire game, which is very, very impressive for a tier 5. That AT2 is an absolute 
monster in the right situations and I mean what better game to prove it now this game is the step up from the last prizes that were given away so all of the honorable mentions have now been done so Union Jack 71 congratulations my dude you have won yourself a Panzer 38H more commonly known as a micro mouse the tier 3 or is it tier 2 no it's the tier 2 German light tank which is an absolute beast down at tier 2 one of the most seal club tanks in the game it I just have to be honest about it it really is if the T1E6 didn't exist it would be the best seal clubber at tier 2 but it's so so good so congratulations my dude I'll send the code over to you as soon as possible and thank you for submitting your replay it was a pleasure to watch and commentate over ladies and gentlemen I hope you did enjoy I will catch you in tomorrow's video until then peace out boom, boom, boom.